Fentanyl is the most common drug involved in overdose deaths. Overdose death numbers surpassed our homicide numbers in 2021, and in 2022, there was only one day in Kansas City without a suspected overdose in city emergency rooms. Between 2017 and 2021, there was a 938% increase in synthetic opioid deaths in Kansas City. And that's why we think it's important for us and vital for us to take action. Kansas City will be launching a public education campaign about the dangers of fentanyl, which will begin rolling out early next year. The goal of cam the campaign is simple, to prevent deadly overdoses through education about the risks and dangers of fentanyl and to provide strategies for how to save lives. We will partner with, and we're thankful for our local advertising company, Barclay, to partner with them on this campaign. That is a step that we can take to make sure that not only is it us at City Hall, or the police department, or the health department, we're making important statements, but instead we're using a true whole of community approach, making sure that our schools, our families, our parents, our young people all understand the dangers of fentanyl and understand the challenges that we're facing right now. The goal of the campaign is to describe the risk of the possibility of fentanyl and any number of drugs that may be taken and will also include educational messages about how dangerous fentanyl is. And our messaging will also include how to administer Narcan properly. The campaign the city will run will include engagement with Ride KC, billboard companies, television stations, and more to ensure we're reaching Kansas Cityans through every way possible. And messages will be strategically targeted to all neighborhoods of Kansas City, including those that have experienced the highest rate of overdose deaths, which at this time includes Kansas City's Northland and areas of the west side of Kansas City. I'm also proud to announce that before the end of the year, Kansas City will be hosting a fentanyl summit in partnership with the health department, community partners, and the Kansas City Police Department to build on our efforts to raise awareness and prevent overdoses. The traffickers and the dealers is, is our responsibility. Um, if you have any, any information, any tips, 474 tips, please call us. Uh, we're doing everything we can with our local partners, our federal partners, to do everything we can to get this stuff off the streets. When yesterday in committee, we spent time talking about an ordinance that does a few different things. That ordinance looks to do a few things. First, require all fatal and non-fatal overdoses to be reported to the Kansas City Health Department within 24 hours. It will require us to make sure that we're investigating overdose protocols, doing follow-up in connection with tracing where people are finding fentanyl, where the problem begins, and importantly, it will create an overdose fatality review board to review overdose data to come up with solutions. Our overdose fatality review board includes space for those who have been touched by this crisis, those who have survived, those whose family members we may have lost. And so we will make sure that as we talk about prevention, it isn't just us and law enforcement and government or the health department who are taking these steps to make a difference, but instead we're truly visiting with every community. Accurate and efficient reporting, accurate and correct sharing about the dangers of fentanyl, and importantly, making sure that we follow up in public health prevention and public safety enforcement are key steps of what we will do to make sure we're addressing this crisis. The opioid crisis is here. It's been here for the last couple of years. It's wreaked havoc on our families, uh, on our friends, on our kids, and on our neighborhoods. Based on the data we have available to us today, there are clear concentrations uh, of overdoses and overdose-related deaths in the 4th District. But we are here today to stand in that breach and say that this will not be the new normal. Data collection and detection are key and important elements to any effective public uh, health strategy. And that is exactly what the ordinance that we're going to vote on today will provide. The, the reason why we need this information so quickly is because if there is some sort of outbreak of overdoses, we can address that. We can mobilize resources. We can tell the folks who need to know this type of information who can get out into the field to mitigate the problem that is occurring that we can see uh, when we're uniquely positioned to see that as the health department. Well, I would 100% I would say that we are in a crisis, uh, and if we don't get ahead of the curve, it is going to get worse.